What's up, Legion? Welcome back to another unboxing video. I know it's been a while, um, but uh, we're going to get into the Retron SQ today. Um, now, this is a unit that plays uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color games straight to your TV via HDMI. It's coming from you uh, by Hyperkin. Um, Retron is the sort of their... Um, their consoles uh so this basically uh is just a little square you guys will see it um it's it's kind of cool anyways i wanted to do an unboxing for you and uh kind of show you um the details and uh uh talk about it a little bit we get a little play well <laughs> little toilet paper manual we don't need that we know how to play right you also get in this box a controller I'm gonna tell you right now and just this is just me talking about this controller this controller is super comfortable and it's actually really nice um, for a sort of third party I would say like Super Nintendo controller style it's it's a very nice controller it's it's really well built so and that does uh, it does uh, go in via USB uh, USB, um, and then let's put that to the side. Also in this box you have, an uh, you know can can never have too many HDMI cables. I'm not gonna take that out of the bag because I have a billion of them. Um, and then the unit itself uh, is just this little tiny square. And there you go. There's the unit. It's uh, it's definitely cool. I love the aesthetic of this. Um, I don't know why. I just think it's kind of cool looking. Here's the top where all the games, all the games fit in one slot. There. Here's the back. You have your HDMI. Your uh, this is a uh, your ratio, your screen ratio. So 16.9, 16, 9, and 4.3. And then you have uh for your uh, TF card here or your memory card here, and then um your Type C power adapter um and then this is your power button and your reset button and it does have hot swapping um it does it is uh hot swapping it does have hot swapping abilities um and it's kind of cool like you'll be playing a, i'll be playing a game boy color game and then i don't play the game anymore so i can hot swap it out with uh another game that i you know potentially want to play and uh, I don't have to wait for the loading screen or anything like that. It just automatically kind of hot swaps it out. So um, we're going to go ahead and plug it up. And we're going to check out some gameplay um, to kind of, uh, you know, show you guys uh, what it can do on screen. So let's do that now. Power Rangers uh, Rescue Thunder, I think. Something like that. Thunder Rescue. Anyways, uh, that is a Game Boy Color game. So I'm playing that. Uh, then, uh, an, uh, this is an original Mr. Chin's, uh, Gourmet Paradise. Uh, we're playing that. If you haven't played this game, it's great. Um, and then, um, for Game Boy Advance, we're gonna do a little bit of Wario Land 4. Um, and then, uh, I wanted to try some, uh, a multi-cart for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, 369 you know these things. Uh, I get them on Amazon all day. And then the original Shantae, uh, this is a repro cart. And I want to see if the repro cart works. So kind of give you an option of all of them here. So let's go ahead and uh, go to that footage and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, into the Hyperkin Retron SQ. Um, like I said, we're going to start off with the uh, Power Rangers game on Game Boy color so this is power rangers light speed rescue i think i said thunder or something like that earlier anyways um so we're just gonna press start here and i am using the um controller uh that it came with um uh yeah and uh let's see how it plays uh you know me we're going easy we're going easy style man we're going easy style. Ah, uh, city. Sure. Oh, damn. The damn. Dang, I wanted to be a Megazord for you guys. 
So as you can see, it's playing fairly well. I mean, so the big knock on this was uh, when we get to the um, Pink Ranger, always my favorite. When we get to the um, to the uh, the the Game Boy Advanced. Uh, apparently there were some problems with uh, uh, screen tearing and stuff before I had got one and they came up with an update and um, it seems to have fixed a lot of the problems I mean from what I can tell because uh, since I've been playing it I haven't had any problems with it so yeah I mean that's cool as you can see you know what I mean so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's hot swap it so I'm literally just gonna pull the game out here and uh, I just pulled it out, and uh, I'm gonna put in uh, Mr. Chin's Gourmet uh, Paradise here. So I'm hot swapping that for that, and uh, we'll see how well this works. Uh, there is a little red light you can see where it, you know what I mean. Oh, look at that. Okay, it does pop. Now the game is supposed to do that, by the way. Just kind of scroll down like that. It, it looks weird, but. Um, yeah, it's one of those kind of crazy games. Uh, so this is a, a regular Game Boy game, but, and what you want to do is get these butts. I call them butts. And I think they're supposed to be like turnips or something. So, um, but anyways, uh, I guess it just turns some of this into color, you know, uh, which is kind of cool. You don't get that, you know, black and white, you know, look, I think that would be hard to replicate anyways. Uh, at this point, so yeah. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so that's a regular Game Boy game. Uh, everything's beautiful on it. I mean, it plays great. Um, let's swap this out. Hot swap once again. Um, and let's go with a regular Game Boy Advance game, Wario 4. So, like I said, all these cartridges just fit in the same slot, which is really cool. <clears throat> and we should just be able to hot swap it right into the game. Don't make me a liar, Hyperkin. Don't do it. Come on. Come on. You can load. Okay, so now, now I guess maybe Game Boy Advance games need to load in instead of hot swapping. All right, we're loaded in um, to uh, this uh, Wario 4. Um, yeah, I mean, it plays it perfectly well. I, I, I don't see a problem. Um, I've never played this game, obviously. I mean, I've played it, but I've never, like, like played it enough to have a save file. Um, now, the, the before, they were having some problems with just, um, it was just really laggy. Um, and it, obviously, it all runs off of emulation, right? So, you put your cartridge in, it's... It's not FPGA, so, like, it's all, you know, ran off of emulations. However, um, I will say the colors are really nice, like, right? And uh, it it was it was having some trouble with the emulation, and the reason why is because whoever programmed these did not program them to the right um, speed, uh, basically. And uh, so they put out a patch, for uh, a day one patch uh, for people when they got them, um, that uh, they were able to uh, go ahead and um, give us the instructions to patch that. And ever since that, it's been working great. So if you're afraid of that because you've seen YouTube videos um, uh, of everybody doing that, then uh, I wouldn't be too scared of it. Um, honestly, uh, it's worked fantastic for me. So, um, Anyways, as you can see, it's, I mean, uh, it's, it's working... It's working phenomenally. Phenomenally. I don't know if you guys can hear the audio at all. Um, yeah, I mean, you should be able to hear something. If not, I was trying not to get too crazy with the Nintendo audio here because you know how they are. Um, okay, cool. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's hot swap it with the... 369 and one multi cart to see um, if it works. So here we go. I'm gonna pull this one out. 
We get the Hyperkin logo again. And we'll see if it has to reload because it's a GBA sort of thing. Or if it just goes right into it. Or if it doesn't go into it at all because it's a, you know, it's a multi-card. So, oh, oh, here we go. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, now, it did load in. And we do have our 369 and 1. Or, like I say, 20 games doubled over and over and over again so we had the pokemon fire reds so obviously these aren't advanced games but but it, you know what i mean it we get all the the crazy advanced games so here we go uh i think you get like the first like and then what it does is it's like if you hit super contra we're back at like uh some of these crazy crazy ones Kirby's Adventure, I mean, it's got a lot, a lot on here actually, but, uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's try out, um, let's go with, I don't know, man, what do you guys want to go with? Mario Kart Advance, I'm terrible at this game, but let's, let's try it. Oh, it didn't, I had hit, no. It's not the start button, folks, it is... Oh, it won't let me uh, pick a game. Okay, well, we know that it does not um, play all it does is do that. <laughs> so it, it won't play the uh, the um, the multi-cart, so Scrub that. Let's go ahead and try the uh, Shantae uh, clone here, or however you want to say it. The repro. So I just hot swapped it again. And uh, yeah, looks like it comes up. Perfect, man. Awesome. If you guys haven't played any of the Shantae games, by the way phenomenal like they're phenomenal games um some of my favorite platforms uh, of all time um i wish i can afford or find or afford a uh an actual like a real a, you know a real copy of this complete in box but we're talking thousands of dollars by this point for some reason <laughs> but it's it's so good so yeah, it looks like this is working well uh, for the repro cart. So I'm happy about that. Like, that's cool. Anyways, cool guys. Well, that, I'll leave this on, you know, the beautiful Shantae's uh, page here. Um, that is the uh, Retron SQ. I hope you guys enjoyed. And maybe you can make up your mind on whether or not you want to buy one. But, um, I mean, it seems to work great. I love the color. Um, the HD, the, the, the HD picture looks so good. Um, so I hope you guys, uh, check it out. I'll put a link below to, um, where you can buy one. Um, and, uh, yeah, guys, uh, anyways, thanks for, uh, coming by. Don't forget to subscribe and, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.